to say something. Beyonce just released sacrilege. Mm. You hear that? Beyonce just released sacrilege. I don't know what sacrilege is, but the way he just said it, the way he just conveyed his voice, sacrilege. It sounds like sounds like she's being accused of something very dark. Very evil. Plus, I just love the robes that he's wearing. This look really cool and very traditional. Like, at some churches, like, the pastor is, like, in, like, a polo shirt, like, a dress shirt. But this dude, he's in, like, a full robe. He's wearing purple. He's got the gold cross on his neck. You know this man means business right here. You know this man is a pastor when you see him. Look at him. Look at that man. Look at his forehead. You see all the wisdom and Bible verses that man knows? Do not mess with this man. He knows at least half of the Bible off the top of his head. Verses, stories, passages, you name it. Jesus scriptures, red text, everything. Do not mess with this man. Look at that man. He got something to say. He the got. Only thing I can count for some of this stuff is somebody that sold their soul to the devil. <laughs> hey. Now, which kind of makes sense. Remember in the early 2000s, there was like those, those rumors that like um, Beyonce and like Jay-Z and Kanye West and all of them sold their soul to like the Illuminati. That actually might be true, according to this pastor. And look at him. Remember that video um, I recorded um, where I said it, it looked like it looked like um, the guy, the fake pastor who was complaining about the watch. It looked like he was in a fake church. This is a real church. This is is what a real church looks like. It has the flowers. It has the, the, the podium. I don't know why he's drinking like um, uh, whatever this is, a cocktail or something. But this this is like a real church. Whatever that guy, um, that, that fake pastor was complaining about the watch and whatever, whatever he was in, that did not look like a church. This right here, this looks like a church. Look at this. Has the people there. Has the women wearing the, the stuff on, her, on their head. Because remember in the Bible it says that women should wear... Uh, 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 like uh, hats on their head. These women have like scars and hats on their head. Looks like she has a rice picking hat on. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> but I digress. When you sell your soul to the devil, you get the short end of the stick. But this piece of trash. Ooh. My man said piece of trash. I have I don't I haven't listened to the song that he's talking about, but apparently it's like a song called Church Girls, and it's like a, a, a like a twerking song, I guess. I don't know, but that that man he says he's calling it trash, man. The way he just says it, you know, you know this man is not capping. You know when that man says it's trash, he really thinks it's trash. Now I haven't heard this song. Um, but in my opinion, there's nothing really wrong with, like, uh, twerking, booty songs or whatever. Um, you know, Prince is one of my favorite singers. I I love Madonna. Um, I, I uh, Molly Cyrus is really cool. I, I like a lot of her stuff. I don't really mind, like, twerking music. But at the same time, that's not, like, the, the only music I really listen to. I listen to, like, a lot of, a lot of like, jazz and gospel music. I, I really like uh, old R&B. But you kind of have to have a balance. You have to have, like... The, the good the good music that has like the good messages and you can't like the the ignorant you know fun music on the side or whatever but it, it shouldn't be like the only thing you listen to if you're feeling me that's my take and she named it church girl yeah church girl that's the, that's the name now, I had thought to try to read the lyrics to and Beyonce grew up in a church didn't she I believe I don't know Look at that pose. Look how serious this man is. He he has not come to play. He has something on his mind. He he's gonna he's gonna spit something. He's gonna spit some facts at us. But I struggle to listen to him. It's too bad. Mm. It's too bad. He couldn't have like went on online and looked up the lyrics. Let's go look up the lyrics, shall we? Church. I. Computer wants to work. For some reason, I came and type. Whatever. Um, the lyrics aren't important. <clears throat> Let's continue. It's not for public consumption. It would be. <laughs> he said 
said that Beyonce's song was trash and not for public consumption. Man, this pastor is going in on Beyonce. I want Beyonce to respond to this. Beyonce has to respond to this. This is this man has some allegations. He said Beyonce made trash. And for the record, I do like Beyonce. I, I more so like her um her uh, uh, um uh, uh, Destiny Child days. I forgot the name is Jamie. I, I like her Destiny Child days more than her solo stuff, but you know, solo stuff is cool. But this man said Beyonce sold her soul to the devil. He's calling her music trash. He's saying it's not for public consumption. Beyonce has to respond to this. Beyonce has to come out to this. There's no way she can ignore this. He said it's sacrilege. He said she sold her soul to the devil. Is there a greater allegation of that? No, I think not. It would be a desecration. <laughs> desecration. Man, he said sacrilege, desecration. Goodness gracious, this man. This man is going in. How can you deny him? You can't say he's a fake pastor. At least that other guy who was complaining about the, the, the watch, you can say he's a fake pastor. But look at this guy. This guy is a pastor. Like, this is the only video I've seen of him. But look at the way he's dressed. Look at the command he has. Look at all the people behind him. You think this man is a fake? You think he's a fraud? You hear the soul in this man's voice? Beyonce has to respond to this. There's no other option. I Man, we're not even a minute in. Whew. I know, I know the I know the best stuff is coming up. You know, the funny thing is I've actually seen, like, toddlers with uh, iPhones and iPads. And my phone is crappy. Every time I try to play, uh, like, a, a song on Spotify, it takes, like, 10 it takes like ten seconds for the song to actually start. It's just, like, silence for 10 seconds, and, the, and then the, uh, the song starts. Uh, I have a crappy um, Android phone. And, um, yeah, there are, there are little kids out there with better phones than me. Kind of hurts my ego, but then again, I'm not really obsessed with my phone. But yeah, I've seen like toddlers and like the little um, <clears throat> what are those um things like the little uh, strollers of like iPhones and iPads. I don't even see like little kids are playing with binkies anymore. Really, it's just like iPads and iPhones now. It's kind of crazy. That you let them. Just the worst. And to, 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 to sample the song of a real church lady. Mm. Sacrilege. Sacrilege. He took a gospel. I mean, she, she, she took a gospel song. That she she made like a, a booty twerk dance to it and named it Church Girl. <clears throat> That's blasphemy and sacrilege right there. There's no lie. The bishop is right. Sacrilege. Yeah, he said, it shows. See, this man, this man has, this man knows how to talk to the audience. This man got it all. We're not speaking of. Ain't nobody, don't nobody respect the church. The world don't respect the church. See, you can't win. Amen to that. Enamored by them. They're telling the speech, they're clapping. <clears throat> I'm just so proud that somebody was going to use my music. What do you mean? You're one of the best in the world. 
And then I guess, you know, he, he's not really talking about Beyonce anymore. But, man, Beyonce, you got a week to respond to this man. Look, it's kind of getting abused, too. The Clark sisters, that's who she sampled. Yeah, the Clark sisters are pretty cool. I've heard some songs um, that sample them. And see, the comments are very supportive. It's refreshing to still see pastors left. They're unafraid to give their undulterated truth. <coughs> That's true. I was um I was driving down the um the street the other day with my family. We were we we were um going on a, on a on a couple errands, and there was a church outside with the with the pride flag. And it wasn't just the old rainbow flag. It was like the flag with like the black stripes, the the, the, the little black V and the brown V. Um. It was the up-to-date, newest pride flag. It was on display. It was proudly displayed. The hip new flag. Boom. Right in front of the church on front of the doors. I saw the pride flag on the church before I saw the actual cross. That's insane, isn't it? And it was this new church of like a drag queen uh, pastor. My brother told me about that. I heard it also on the Michael Malice show. Michael Malice, Michael Knowles show, not Michael Malice. Um, he might have talked about it, I don't know. But Michael Knowles show, I have not seen that video, and I will not watch that video. Um, that's just terrifying. Seeing a, a, a drag queen in stiletto heels and all that stuff with a cross around the neck. Uh, talking about, uh, I don't even know, I don't even know, want to know what garbage you're talking about. That that would just terrify me. I, I, I could not watch that. My soul could not handle that man said nothing wrong facts facts there are a lot of squishy pastors out there that are like oh it's okay to be gay it's okay to be gay you know <laughs> um there's a lot of people that are saying it's okay to be gay <clears throat> Ty tribute in the um christian community as a church girl on the same age yeah i'm kind of looking for like a negative comment that one that um Oh, here's, I want to see like a negative comment that kind of uh, goes against the past. I'm not really seeing that. Um, hmm. Oh, well, um, not important. The meat of this video is uh, Beyonce sold her soul to the devil. This pastor destroyed her. Beyonce has seven days a week to respond to this video. She needs a response. She, she can't just tiptoe over this. This pastor came out for her. Goodness gracious. There's no way she could escape this. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Go away now.